Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today we will be evaluating um, an, uh, an example of a complex fraction that is a uh, little bit complicated for you guys. Okay. So firstly, let's identify um, the ma the major or the main fraction bar. This is of course this one. Okay. This is our main fraction bar. But since observing the given, you will notice na on this part, okay. This is a complex fraction as well, and on this part is another complex fraction. And same goes, this is another complex fraction. Now, on the first one, this one, it's a complex fraction because of the denominator, okay? This one is another complex fraction because of the denominator as well. And the third one is another complex fraction based on the denominator, okay? So, what we need to do here is we need to evaluate our given separately first, okay, and then substitute them. So, meaning is solve nyo muna unti unti. Okay, so we will solve this one separately. This one, this one, and then finally this one. Okay, so let's try the, or the orange one first. So, it will give us this, the following 1 minus A over T. And evaluating this one, it will give you over 1. This is B minus A over on this given, this is already solved. Okay, because we cannot simplify it any further. Now, let's go to the color blue one. So, it's 1 plus A over B, giving us, again, this is B. We have plus, plus, 1 times A is A, and then 1 times B is, of course, B. That's the blue one. And then, as for the green one, it will give us, of course, um, it's the same as the blue one, so therefore for the green one, it would be the same. It's the same, you will notice. Same given, okay, but different position, okay? So the next thing that we will do here is we will substitute that given. To what? To the, cir to the circle given. So meaning this given b over, b minus a over b is equals to, let me just, just this one. Okay. This one is equals to this one equals to this one and this one is equals to this one and the last one is equals to this one so meaning we can substitute them pwede natin silang ipalit because that is the concept of um equivalence you can replace them if they are the same since they are the same this is just simply the evaluated form then we will have the following given so we did not touch one this one we also did not touch the fraction bar. We only touched the denominator, giving us b minus a over b minus 1 over six. our blue one. It's b plus a over b over the denominator of 1 minus 1 over b plus a over b. Okay, so this is our given now. So having this given, okay, so we can evaluate now this complex fraction. Why didn't we evaluate it in the first place? Because you will notice here, sabi, sabi ko in our previous video, you can only evaluate the complex fraction if and only if there is one fraction bar on each numerator, this one, and then the denominator. Okay? So since on this one, you have two, which is of course one over one and a over b, then we evaluate the denominator, okay? So going back here, so this is our new given. Then we can evaluate each individual complex fraction. This one, this one, and then this one. So let's try to evaluate using the same colors again. This is for the orange. This is for the blue. And this is for the green. I'm oh, sorry, not change color. This is for the green, okay? So we have this following. Let's try to evaluate. Again, for the orange one, it's 1 over b minus a over b. Giving us 1 divided by b minus a over b. And having this one, we will just simply reciprocate. So that would be 1 times b over b minus a. Since that is multiplication by 1, it's just simply reciprocation. So meaning it would be b over b minus a. This is for your orange one. And as for the blue one, 
is the same um, structure. It's 1 over, but instead of minus, it is plus over p. Equals 2, of course, same concept. You will reciprocate now. Okay, I will reciprocate immediately. So it's b over b plus and it's just simply b over b plus a. And then again, the green one is the same as the blue one. So therefore, for the green one, it's just the same. It's b over b plus a. So let's zoom out a little bit. So we will place this one. Okay, we will place this one on the orange one. We will place um, this one on the blue one. And then the green one, of course, for the green one. Okay. And then replacing that, it will give you an answer of. So this, uh, this is wrong, by the way. Uh, you cannot have multiple equal signs, but I'm just writing it so that you will be able to see the process. Okay, so it's b over. Let me just make that smaller. B over b plus a uh, minus a. Sorry, minus a minus b over b plus a all over. 1 minus b over b plus a, okay? So then again, I told you before that you can only evaluate complex fractions if and only if there is one, um, call this, there is one fraction bar for the numerator and then the denominator. So again, we will try to simplify the numerator and then the denominator. Okay, so let's use two colors. Let's have this um, the brown one and then the yellow one. As for the brown one, we have b over b minus a minus b over b plus a. Evaluating this one, cross multiply. So b times b plus a minus b times b minus a all over b minus a times b plus a. This one, the very first one, this one is equals to b squared plus b, ab, sorry, plus ab minus another one, this one is b squared minus ab, parenthesis still, all over b squared minus a squared. Evaluating this one, please go back to your multiplication. And evaluating this one, the numerator, okay? So this is minus, therefore, the sign of the everything in the denominator, uh, in the, uh, what do you call this, the subtrahend will change. So this is b squared plus ab plus negative b squared plus ab. I said the signs change over b squared minus a squared. So what will happen here? This will be cancelled out because they are the same number and then the op I mean, they are the same given, but it's addition, okay? And the sign is negative. And then this one, AB plus AB, I said AB plus AB, okay? So that would simply be 2AB. I said that's the rule. If you have X plus X, the answer is 2X. It's, it's the same if you have 2XY plus 2XY. So it's simply... 4xy. You add simply the number. Okay? So let me just erase that. So you will have 2ab all over. We have b squared minus a squared. And that is just simply the brown one. Let's try to evaluate the yellow one. The yellow one will have this one. 1 plus b over b plus a. Let me check. Oh, it's minus for that. So we have here minus. minus. Equals to, same goes, cross multiply to tayo. So this is b plus a times 1. So let's just leave it as is. Minus b, kasi that's just b times 1. All over, this one is b plus a. This will give us, since that is same number, okay? So that's b plus a minus b, yeah over b plus a. This will just simply give us a over b plus a. This one is cancelled out. Bucket, so they are the same number. 
And this is A, of course, and this is, of course, B plus A. So, yeah. so that's why we just wrote it like this one. Okay? That is the yellow one. This is the brown one. Okay? This is the brown one, and then this is the yellow one. And that will, we will write them down in our given. So let's zoom out a little bit again. So I hope you can see them still. Equals to. So the brown one is the numerator. It's 2AB over B plus A. Sorry. It's 2AB over B squared minus A squared. All over A over plus a. Then let's reciprocate our given. Reciprocating our given will give us uh, the following. Let's say we are already you know, done here. So this one will be equals to, to ab over b squared minus a squared times reciprocate na natin agad yung denominator which is of course um, going to be b plus a over so this one we don't need to multiply any. Uh, we need to multiply it. So it's 2ab times b plus a all over b squared minus a squared times a. Now on this given, this one, it can be factored out. So it's 2ab times b plus a all over b plus a times b minus a. This is the factored form, and that is the sum and difference of two. I mean, the difference of two squared. I can cancel out this one. Okay, leaving me with 2ab over, I mean, the a, I can still cancel out a part. a and then a. B. Leaving me with 2b over b minus and since that is not complex anymore, therefore, this is your final answer. Okay? So, I know that cell is very complicated. Okay? Um, hope um, we will provide some other examples that will concern this one. But it would be just um, the same given. Okay? So, I do hope you learned something today. It's a little bit complicated, but you can just simply go back to our given and try to analyze it. Okay? Just uh, memorize the method and processes that we have. Made. Okay, so thank you for ev everyone for listening. And assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.